doing some engineering here. If it can fall off, it can go back on. Good morning, guys. Here in Hanoi, we are flying to Ho Chi Minh City today using Jetstar Airlines. Already had some interesting experiences, so that flight is going to be $56 Canadian. Plus, uh, I'm checking a bag, so that was another $15. They change our flight from 3 o'clock in the afternoon to 8 in the morning. Good thing that's not a big deal for us at all, doesn't really matter. I had to change Drake's name on the booking, and they did that no problem, so that was good. A lot of reviews online about how bad other customer services but so far it's been good for us now we got a four dollar cab four dollar each between six of us it's gonna be a 40 minute cab ride to the airport <laughs> in the airport now that drive took exactly 45 minutes so Matt had to check his bag. It's gonna cost him 225,000 dong, which is less than I paid. They kept sending me emails saying, pay for your check bag now, because it's way more expensive at the airport. And I paid online 270,000, and Matt's only paying 225. That's how they get ya. All through security, everything's going smooth so far. How about an hour until we board? This is what they call the hamburger with bacon at the airport. It was uh, two dollars. You want some yaw? What about Yukon territory? Back of the plane, rear door, rear door. My question is, will this moment right here be the last time I breathe in Hanoi air, or am I coming back one day? Oh, typical airplane seats, not bad, not bad. Pretty good leg room okay. for someone who's six foot. Okay, ready? Right, I'm just going as hard as you can. Oh, no. Oh. Easy two hour flight, I just slept the whole time. Matt's bag, my bag. That was the fastest luggage pickup I've ever seen. We literally walked off our plane right to the belt rack and our bags came off. Typical us, McDonald's in front of the airport, gotta go. We're now on Saigon bus, cost uh, 5,000 dong, which is like 30 cents to get to Ben May Market, which is the main market in downtown Ho Chi Minh City. From there we'll have about a one and a half kilometer walk to our hostel. Our bus hooked us up. We thought we were gonna have that long walk, but they actually dropped us off right down the road from our uh, hostel. The guy on the bus came up and looked at my phone where our hostel was, took us right there. So that was amazing for only 30 cents. Saved a lot of money doing it that way. Oh, and it's, if you wanna look for it, it's called Bus 152. They're selling a bunch of other buses at the bus stop but they're all way more expensive. Just bus 152. This is the street our hostel's on. It's got good reviews though. First hostel is full. So they pointed us to the backpacking street. That's the name of the uh, backpacker street here in Ho Chi Minh City. You can tell there's hostels everywhere. Second try, this place is full too. Hotel three, full. Hostel number four, full. Finally found a place. It's called Lee Hostel. It's only 80,000 a night. Just about six dollars Canadian. Rooms aren't too bad. It is really hot here in Ho Chi Minh City compared to Hanoi. Way more humid. Sun's out. She's a warm one. Now our plan is to get on top of that building right there. Here, the sky deck. You have to pay 235,000. You get a couple free beers, but all you have to do is go around the other side of the building and it's a free entry. Oh, the AC, baby. Still trying to find our way to the top of the building. Banana smoothie for $2. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Talk to the test. Right here is the helicopter pad if you want to come land your helicopter and have a drink. Prices up here are basically the same as at a normal restaurant back at home.
All right, guys, that's going to be all for today. Probably all for the trip. Flying home tomorrow night. It's been a crazy adventure, more just like across Vietnam. Make sure you guys check out. Starting the journey in the city, working our way out the country. I don't know when I'll go see you guys next.